Right, so with this question, towards the end of the paper, okay, it's not so simple as working out the percentage of something and adding it on, job done, okay? Um, there's a couple of processes we've got to apply here, okay? And it'll also involve sort of reverse percentages as well, reversing the process. Let's look at it. We've got here, the shopkeeper paid £120 for the MP3 player, yeah? And um, he wishes to sell, okay? to make a profit of 20%. So I kind of like focused on this to begin with, okay? Because he wants to make a profit of 20% on the price that he paid for it. So if you think about it, um, the shopkeeper paid 120 pounds for it, and they want to make a profit of 20%, okay? So they want profit of 20%. So yeah, in this case now, it is a simple case of working out what 20% of, of this is, okay? So first step I would do is work out what 10%, well of course 10% will be, divide that by 10, yeah? Okay, so 120 divided by 10 is 12, okay? So if I know 10% is 12, 20% then is going to be uh, 24 pounds, yeah? So we just double that then. So um, he essentially, or the shopkeeper essentially, needs to sell this product for £120 plus then the profit of £24. So must sell at a price of well, £120 plus the 24 so £144. Okay, however, this is being sold in a sale where there's a discount being applied, okay? And if you notice here, the discount is 25% of the marked price, okay? So the, the shopkeeper can't put that as the price of the actual MP3 player, okay? You can't label that as £144 because that's the amount he wants to actually sell it for, okay? So, in a sense, this will be the price after the discount has been applied, okay? So, we need to work out what the marked price is going to be. Okay, so that is the question mark, isn't it? What goes on the label, okay? So that when you take off the discount, you end up with £144, okay? So, we need to... This price, we've taken 25% off, aren't we? Now, if we take 25% off the marked price, we will be left with 75% of the marked price. So in a sense then, 75% will equal to 144. That's the way we need to see that here, okay? After the discount has been applied. So if 75% is 144, all I need to do then is work out what the 100% is going to be. What is the marked price? Okay, this is after the discount. What is it before the discount? The mark price, 100%. Well, if 75% is that, I can get my way up to 100%. I could, for instance, scale this down, divide by three, so I get 25%. If I divide that by three, I get 48 pounds. And then times it by four then to get 100%. So I get 192.